Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the stuff that's coming up for Red Dead Online. Specifically, we'll be looking at some of the stuff for the Outlaw Pass, which will be for Halloween. Now, we know the current Outlaw Pass we have goes until October 19th, which ends on a Monday. And always on Tuesdays, we get updates for Red Dead Online. So I'm assuming that that Tuesday will get it because the next week will be on 27th and that'll be the week of Halloween. So I'm hoping that we might get it up to Halloween so we're not playing stuff afterwards. And we also know that Fear the Dark, the actual showdown series from last year is coming back again. So we actually have a little bit of stuff on that as well. Uh, but we're gonna get into some of the cosmetic stuff that's gonna be coming out this Outlaw Pass for Halloween. So as we get ready to head over to take a look at that stuff, if you are new to the channel and you wanna stay up to date with Red Dead Online, and you wanna be just some of the people that know the first things about some of these leaks or just some of the just different things coming up in Red Dead Online, make sure to hit that sub button and bell notification and you'll get notified as soon as these videos go up. So one of the first things we're gonna be looking at is a character model underneath the mask of the Night Stalkers. So this isn't new content, but it's just kind of cool to see this. If you guys remember the Night Stalkers and stuff, it's kind of like these demon looking things with helmets and stuff with horns coming out of it. And thankfully to MuseTuber over on Twitter, we have these images. And this is what it looks like underneath the mask. <laughs> it's straight up like zombie looking, crazy looking stuff. They were able to find it with an outfit changer mod. And here's another one that's a little bit more what you see underneath the mask, those big giant crazy looking eyeballs. And then here's a final one. I guess he decided to just throw him in a suit. But anyway, it's pretty cool to see that Rockstar does take the time to put details underneath the mask. And it's not just, you know, floating eyeballs inside of the actual uh, skull. So the first thing we're gonna be looking at, we have new horse masks coming out for Halloween. It's kind of like the Day of the Dead look here. Uh, these were these horse mask images were sent to me. I know they came from a data miner, but I don't have a name to go with it. So of course I'm not claiming that I data mined this or anything, but it was sent to me. And here's the next one. It's kind of got like blood and stuff all over it. Kind of looks pretty cool. And then here's the last one. Not saying we won't get more than this, but this is just all I know that we'll have coming up soon. Now the next thing we're going to be looking at is new masks. And this is thankfully sent over by MBR Lucario. Now up front, one of these masks actually do look like one of the masks if you're playing the regular player in Fear of the Dark. Because when you play the Night Stalkers, you have the crazy looking masks. But when you're playing the regular players and you go around and you collect the different things, you do get a mask put on. So one of these masks do look kind of familiar to those. But then other colorways of these masks definitely do not. And here's the first mask right here. Now these are way better than last year's mask. I think these look a whole lot better. There's still a couple good looking masks, but here's the first one here. It's kind of like got some gold embellishments and stuff, but it's got some wicked looking horns and stuff coming out of it. And here's another one that kind of looks like the one that's in story mode that's um, hanging on a stick and stuff. That's one of the graveyards. Uh, again, it has that Day of the Dead vibe with the colors. And here's another one. It's kind of more of a colorway of the first one we were showing you. Still looks pretty cool. It's kind of just got, you know, string and stuff wrapped around of it. Just kind of looks to look all blood and stuff. It looks pretty cool looking. And then also to it, kind of another colorway. This was probably my favorite. It's just really just, I don't know, just really grunge looking and stuff like that. Really fits the Halloween. And then we have another one colorway. It almost looks like what's on the forehead. It's from the old like Undertaker uh, logo from WWF wrestling and stuff. So it's pretty cool. It looks very, very close to that or Blair Witch. And then we got this one. It kind of gives off like a kind of like a reptilian vibe. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty cool looking. Uh, here's another view of it here. And here's just another variant of one of the masks we've seen before. And the same with this one. Uh, this is probably not one of my favorite ones though, but still, hey, it's a new mask and stuff. But yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty cool. These are just some of the things that we know we have coming up and it's different from some of the stuff that's came out before. So it does look like the Outlaw Pass for Halloween could be kind of, you know, full of a lot of cool stuff. Um, who knows, there might be some more in-game free roam stuff that's going on as well. I'm really hoping so. We do have the, you know, the Showdown series, Fear of the Dark coming back. So anyway, guys, hopes up for Halloween. Uh, I hope the Outlaw Pass for Halloween is a lot better than this last one we got. The last one is just kind of lackluster. I mean, I think a lot of uh, people probably agree with me on that. And, uh, you know, it didn't hit up to the 100 ranks. So 
Anyway, guys, if you do want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, make sure to hit the sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.